Okay, I want to talk about uh, the book 1984 uh, as well as the uh, 1984 movie adaption of 1984. Um, well, in the past, uh, I made some things like a uh, pretty poor Hitler impression. Uh, now I want to do an impression of a uh, of a really good guy, of a good guy. Uh, uh, well, my name is Manuel, and uh, his name is Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel Goldstein from the book 1984. He's the he's the good guy. Uh, of course, normally that would be impossible because in 1984 there is absolutely no information on Goldstein at all. Uh, although a huge part of the book is about Goldstein and his Brotherhood movement that opposed the party, and even a large chapter of 1984 is a direct uh, a copy of Goldstein's books uh, book. Uh, all that is only the fake book and a fake brotherhood and a fake Goldstein that is made up by Socialist Party and uh, O'Brien, um, the uh, party, uh, the, well, the evil party member guy in 1984, the inner party member. Uh, so um, we do not get a bit of information on whether Goldstein actually exists. Uh, all that we see is just the, the propaganda, how the party describes him. We don't actually see him or what he really says. Uh, and, and Wikipedia uh, says that Orwell wanted it to be like uh, Trotsky's movement that is portrayed as opposed to the uh, Communist Party and uh, demonized uh, by the party. Uh, but yet it's essentially just another Communist Party and little better. So you then start to think that uh, there is nothing better than Communist uh, can communism and even those who seem to oppose them like uh, Trotsky or the National Socialists or even Orwell himself are themselves socialists and a little better so you start to think there is no way out and no solution and that's basically how 1984 ends with that no way out feeling making you think that the whole world is evil but what you then forget is that all those things or a mere creation of socialism itself. Or how could you find a solution for socialism within socialism? And that's why Orwell could not describe a word about the actual Goldstein. And that's also why many Chinese uh, think that all the groups that oppose communism are little better than a communist party. And actually, in actuality, they don't at all know these groups. All they know about them is how the Communist Party portrays them in their propaganda. So in George Orwell's 1984, a true opposition movement does not exist. And if it does, it is no better than the Communists. In reality though, people who oppose the Communist Party are all better than the Communists, uh, than the Communist Party. Because if they wouldn't be they wouldn't be able to truly oppose the Communist Party. That's also why I always uh, emphasize nonviolence. Because uh, the moment you become violent, you are not better than the people you try to oppose. And then even if you could defeat them uh, uh, that way with violence, if you could defeat them with violence, then nothing would be accomplished because you're just replacing uh, uh, you know, a violent regime with, with violence. <laughs> Uh, and and, and it's, it's basically stays the same. And in George Orwell's dark uh, uh, socialist world, neither Goldstein nor a solution truly exist. But as soon as you go beyond that, it exists. Uh, I think a true good Goldstein that goes beyond a party ideology already exists in the movie. Uh, there is a very brief scene in the beginning of the movie where we can hear and see Emmanuel Goldstein talking directly to us. That scene is non-existent in the it's non-existent in the book, and, and I believe um, this might be uh, uh, the true Goldstein. Uh, of course, you can't make out a word of what he says because uh, the agitated crowd constantly uh, slanders, attacks, insults, and yells at him. Uh, and that's also why I believe this to be the true Goldstein because in 1984 the party is portrayed as being opposed to the truth. So what it truly attacks must be the truth. 
So, but then again, as I said, because he gets attacked, insulted, and slandered, uh, and smeared so heavenly, so heavenly, uh, that you you can't make a word out of, uh, or you can make out a word of what he says. But I came across the DVD subtitles, uh, and, uh, and and here's what he says. <clears throat> So those are not my boots. Those are Goldstein boots. Goldstein's boots in a, in, a, in a 1984 movie, which you you can see in the movie. But that's what he says. Uh, nothing the party says is true. Nothing the party does is good. Even the war itself isn't real. The party wants you to believe we are at war, so as to channel your aggressions away from their rightful target, the party. Big Brother is not real. He is pure fiction created by the party. The real rulers of the state are unknown, faceless manipulators who, because they are not known, are able to wield power without lack or hindrance. People of Oceania, you're being dubbed. The party doesn't serve people. It serves itself. We are not at war with, Oce uh, with, we are not at war with Eurasia. 